Good evening. Uh, I am Dario Torelli. I have one question, uh, Dr. Rami. My question is why in this modern era we still have an antiquated cannibalistic bus system? Why are we not progressing with the, the time and what's hindering our progress? Trying to get some awesome people here, Mr. Dario. A question is very, very pivotal and it yes. goes uh, probably yes. a little deeper than the length of the show would allow, but I'm going to try <laughs> to respect okay. him by summarizing it yes. uh, as best as I possibly can. The, the question as related to why do we still have the cannibalistic antiquated type system? Antiquated because, well, for the most part, the Bahamas is still behind the eight ball. We have not modernized on the whole. Um, um, uh, cannibalistic and antiquated because there's a degree of fear and mistrust. People yes. don't believe. Um, that we give rhetoric, but we don't believe in entrepreneurial mm -hmm. spirit of the Bahamian mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. um, I don't make excuses for things. I find reasons, solutions, and fix it. Yes, sir. Um, so I look at that same problem as antiquated and how I can address it. For one, I don't focus on running the transportation system. We have great men here, and we have a lot of people in the industry who like me or don't like me, who can run the industry. The problem is why we are antiquated is because people don't invest in things they don't believe in. Right. So right. that's the cost. Yes. You yes. understand? The yes. cost isn't yes. that it can't be fixed or it can't yes. break. The cost is they don't believe in it. So what is Ruben Ramming's job? Not to run PTAB, not to boss anybody, not to take their money, but to do one thing, to bring credibility back to the industry. Yes, sir. When there's credibility brought to it, then people will look, see, and want to invest. Yes, sir. And then you open the door mm -hmm. for people to want to invest in changes legislatively or invest in it uh, monetarily to partnership with the people in it. People don't realize, or seem not to realize, that uh, those jitneys out there represent a conglomerate of small businesses. Yes. And, 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 and really, we need to be careful what we do, because what we do to them technically sets a precedence for what could be done for every other small business. And the fact is, it is, it is not the big, large hotels and, and, and other entities that drive the economy. Small businesses yes, drive yes, the yes, economy. Yes, yes. Good evening, Mr. Reming. My name is Prince Alexander Smith II. Uh, it's my understanding that you've had a number of meetings with the government and private sector concerning ways to uh, uh, institute a public bus service. If you can give us a condensed uh, version of where those talks are at the present time and, and what kind of timeline is there to uh, perhaps bring online a, 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 transporta a transportation system. why you're going to have to get better to caliber these questions. Yes, uh, it's yeah. like being the commissioner inquiry, <laughs> except in, in, a positive, in a positive way. And, 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 and uh, Prince the second um, uh, will compel me to have to condense it. But um, your memory serves you very well. Though. <laughs> yeah, um. <laughs> thank you. Sometimes that's all you get to rely on. Okay. Um, but it is a potent question that he asks as really to the, the negotiations with government yes. and where we are and if there is a, a, a timeline for it. And um, that's difficult to say. The dialogues that we've had with this current administration has been um, minimal, but I am not discouraged. The dialogue that we had with the former administration has been a lot, but nothing was, much was really accomplished. But I can't use just nothing because I've found that re there's accomplishment in everything. Yes, there's some gain. And everything, yes. everything. If somebody some throw manure at you, yeah. go into farming, create yes. fertilizer. Right. Yes. And because of that, I think I do have to give credit to the former administration for, 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 for what was not accomplished because they strengthened the resolve of our people. There's a song that I hear that goes, um, the higher you build your barrier, the yes. stronger I become, the yes. more you take my life away, right. the stronger. Sometimes that runs through my mind when I see these men here in the PTAB uniform. Um, and, and I think, I think if I can qualify, the former administration, administration strengthened us. Mm -hmm. um, because um, I, I would think it would be a disservice to give us charity. The persons must have equity. Equity brings sustainability. Yes. They must feel that I am a part of the solution just as much as I'm a part of the problem. They must feel that when this is fixed, it is, is, is my investment with the help of somebody else so it can be sustainable. Um, so that is very, very important. Um, every government brings a different change. I sense the presence that, that, that um, because we have built our credibility and we have been saying things ahead of even this economic climate and crunches yes. that people are now starting to see in high places that, you know, what these guys were saying is what we really, really need now. So I believe we are on the precipice of having the doors open to mm -hmm, us mm -hmm. to do what we need to do. People don't realize how much a role 
public transportation plays right. in the economy of this country, mm -hmm. the psychology of this country, and the reputation yes, of this yes, country. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll end that short there just for him. Dr. Rami, I have always admired your gift and mastery for speaking so eloquently and intelligently. What is your ultimate dream or goal for public transportation in the Bahamas? Is your association active in any of the other family islands? Dawn's question is good also. Yes. yes. Uh, first question was, is the association active in any other islands? Yes. yes. Grand Bahama also in Abaco and there are other persons who, who, who signed up because okay. people are seeing and they're knowing, they're starting to believe, they consult with us in many different ways. So we're not just um, New Providence based, we are truly a, a um, national mm -hmm. uh, transportation service um, in, in, that, in that vein. The ultimate goal of the transportation system again is, and I think it's wrapped up in the mission and vision statement that we have, to build a community-centered disabled and senior citizen friendly public transportation system. Wow. It should not be built around politics. Mm -hmm. It's like the transcontinental railroad. Mm -hmm. As the railroad was built, towns mm -hmm. built up. Yes, um, around it. Precisely. If you have an area, we need to service it. Mm -hmm. um, community centered, disabled and senior citizen friendly public transportation system, because it's for everyone. Bohemian owned and operated. Yes, sir. You want to see that fuse blow? Yes, you try to bring somebody in here to take that over. <laughs> yes. A credit to our nation. Yes, sir. You understand? This is a credit to our nation. We must develop this in a way that it enables us to have best practices, because everybody like quality service, Definitely. but it must be done in a bohemian way. People don't want to catch a US bus. They want a bohemian experience. Yes, sir. How do we give them a bohemian experience without not looking professional in the general national view? Mm -hmm. That's very, very important. Secondly, to help drive the economy, because in doing that, it, it does it for us. I'll give you a quick example. Clifton Heritage is about to open up. Yes. I want buses to service that. Mm -hmm. People, every subdivision that opens up, I want to send buses that way. You know why? Because when we build them, we build ourselves. Yes, sir. That's what we need to realize. If we can help your community to strive and build up, then that's more people that's going to ride our bus and it's vice versa. When we go down, you go down. When you go up, we go up. And so it's to create a partnership yes. where there's a greater appreciation from the owners and drivers of the value of the passenger that transcends the dollar and from the passengers that transcends just getting a short ride into town. Give the man some love. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Are we done with like time? Thank you for taking the time out to be with us tonight, Robert. It's been thank my you very pleasure. much. Great program, great show. Give me some love. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Thank you. Good stuff. Yeah. I want to thank you for being here tonight with us on Dare to Be Great. I want to leave you with this today's Energizer, which is proudly sponsored by Leading Sports Bar. And it's a quote from Vince Lombardi, the coach of the Washington Redskins and the Green Bay Packers. He said, the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to his commitment to excellence, regardless of his chosen field of endeavor. Good night and God bless you. <laughs> this program has been brought to you by Bahamas Telecommunications Company, the Hilton Hotel, the Phoenix Institute for Positive Development and Empowerment, Woodview Furniture, Bamboo Shack, Dollar Thrifty Rent-A-Car, and Kingman Ingram Accounting Firm.